Hi gang, last uh, PowerPoint or one of the last ones. This is called Eras in Federalism. It's just talking about the timeline of federalism basically. So first slide. Since the Constitution was ratified, we have moved from dual to cooperative to centralized to conflicted federalism. So we're gonna have a quick look at each of those. Starting out with dual federalism, that's also called layer cake federalism. Um, the federal government and the state governments operate in their own sphere of influence and they don't interact with each other. Each was had its own uh, responsibilities and powers and there wasn't any intermingling uh, to speak of. Next, we moved into cooperative federalism. This happened during the time of the New Deal when the Depression was uh, affecting the state's abilities to put people to work and to pay their debts. So they, the federal government got involved with grants uh, in aid given to the states. Um, this caused a blending of the powers of the federal government with the state government's business. So we had categorical grants and block grants that were given and um, they weren't really told how to spend the money. The states liked this. They were, they were given the grant money and the states were able to implement or use that money the way they saw fit. Here's another um, illustration of uh, dual federalism on the left and cooperative federalism on the right. Then we moved into centralized federalism, where more and more increasingly the federal government was forcing the states to implement particular national policy in order to get the money that they wanted. So there were strings attached to the grant money. From there, we have now moved into devolution, where more and more power is or responsibility for implementing programs is devolved to the states from the federal government. And from there, we've moved to conflicted federalism, where cooperation has ended and there are legal challenges to national legislation that mandates state and local action. Um, we talked about an example of that in South Dakota with the drinking age being 21. That was challenged, but the federal government reigned supreme on that one. Marijuana laws are another example where first we hear that the, the states have <clears throat> implemented the marijuana laws, then the federal government's going to come in and shut it down, and then the federal government says, no, we're not going to do that as long as you abide by the state's rules um, and laws because this is grounded in the reserve powers of the states. So the um, Supreme Court has refused to, refused to take this on as a case, and therefore uh, California courts have decided that doctors can uh, distribute or prescribe marijuana for medical purposes. So that's an example of conflicted federalism where we are today. And that's it. Thanks for listening.